Good evening. In our news bulletin for tonight, Premier Tokitalangi has made statements regarding some of government's company developments. The government has made an official announcement for the new Niue High Commissioner to New Zealand. Telecom Niue is working to upgrade and improve their internet services. Premier Tokitalangi is now back at work and has spent some time getting updates on developments while he was away. The transformation process is ongoing, but one of the biggest challenges last year was the establishment of the commercial tr and trading arm of government, where a number of government departments and corporations went through some structural changes. These revenue-generating divisions included Telecom Niue, the Niue Power Corporation, the Civil Inquiry, as well as the Broadcasting Corporation of Niue. Premier Toke Talangi commented about some of the operations and their developments. There have been other things that you know that have been taking place. The roads, I know a lot of people complain about the roads. I went uh, up to up north the other day down to our cook and back here. I thought the roads between Tui and Woodlow were terrible, and I agree we should uh, think. There are potholes, but you know, the other the other road from here to Makifu and and Tuapa wasn't too bad. Um, the roads between the back villages uh, to Butelo um, to Lakapa was fine, and from Lakapa to Liku was fine, except for the beginning of the uh, track to Liku. Uh, there were a few potholes in front of the um, Tugumulea's house, I think. And the roads between Liku and Hakopu generally fine. They need potholes need to be filled up and so on. Um, the other thing you've got to remember, and I know you get frustrated, as we get frustrated, because there has been so much rain. We have not been able to do the repair works that we need to on the roads as quickly as we would have liked. Um, but now the sun has come out. We are starting to make some progress in some of the areas that have been um, that need us and our attention to make sure that we think. The TV, I hope that for you people who have uh, signed up for the TV program, I hope that you have enjoyed it. I think there's a variety there, but I also realise that uh, we've still got a few teething problems and hopefully over the next six months we'll iron those out and uh, we'll have TV systems which we'll, you will be proud of. You will also be aware that we've started to roll out the um, meters for reading um, electricity and so on. Um, I hope it'll save us a lot of time and money it will also make sure that um, everybody is treated the same, pay the same amounts as required. Um, with that, I'd like again to thank you all. I'd like to thank um, to ensure that you realise that we're back at work, that I'm uh, rearing to go, and I... Uh, need a bit of time to catch up on a number of things but otherwise I'm happy with the way that my ministers who have looked after this place for the time that I have been away and also for the people for the work that they have done during the time that I have been away. Despite well-intentioned changes, some of those operations were going through teething issues from unexpected power cuts breakdowns in machinery and other issues over the past few months. Government is hoping that these matters will be resolved to ensure that the transition is progressive and that effective services are delivered to customers. Government has announced the appointment of Honourable Fisa Ingilisi Pingia as Niwe's new High Commissioner to New Zealand. He will succeed Her Excellency Olaf Jacobson, who will conclude her term on the 17th of March. This is a diplomatic appointment that has gone through a robust and vetting process by government of Niue and New Zealand. 
Honorable Pingya spent more than 20 years in the public service, having been appointed as the Collector of Customs before deciding to enter the political scene. This latest development is the epitome of what has been an illustrious career and the appointment has been received with gratitude. I'm very grateful to the Premier, the Government of New Way for um, appointing me to this uh, highest post uh, to represent the Government and the people of New Way uh, to New Zealand and uh, I'll try my best to be a good representative of the people to New Zealand in order to maintain and strengthen that uh, special relationship we had with them and also with any other countries that we have uh, already had a uh, diplomatic uh, relationship with. So I'm very good, grateful uh, for this appointment and it is now up to me to do my utmost best you know, to be a good representative of the new people in to New Zealand. Honourable Pingya is a well-seasoned politician with 27 years of experience serving as a member of parliament for Tuapa. With his pending departure, this will open up an opportunity for others to contest the village seat. thought about that, particularly back in uh, uh, 2010, uh, till 2014 that I really expressed my interest in this posting and I'm really grateful to the government particularly to the Premier for um, not only appointing me but uh, I believe probably they had uh, you know confidence in myself uh, to carry on with that uh, post in Wellington but I'm yeah, after 26 years as a public servant and 27 years as a politician, uh, one has to retire from those positions. And why not, uh, you know, get into this another another posting, which is an, a different a different posting altogether, a different environment, uh, different people you will be meeting. But I'm very grateful and uh, happy that uh, I've been appointed to this uh, post as a uh, uh, new High Commissioner to New Zealand. The government of Niue has also acknowledged Her Excellency Olaf Jacobson for her excellent services as new as High Commissioner to New Zealand and her appointment as the Dean of Diplomatic Corps, which was a highlight. Fisa Pinya will depart at the end of this month to commence his new post as new as High Commissioner in Wellington, New Zealand in early April. Telecom Niue has developed new packages as they try to upgrade and remain competitive as an internet service provider. Now operating under the commercial and trading arm of government, the company is looking for ways to get more customers on board. The ADSL network that operates using phone lines enables people to access internet from the comfort of their homes. However, the new prepaid option will mean that people will pay in advance and only need to top up once data is finished rather than being lumped with a hefty bill at the end of the month or losing unused gigs. Another service that they have ventured into is the public Wi-Fi hotspots that have been set up in a number of locations. At the moment, they have hotspots at the airport, commercial centre, the hospital, Swanson's, Crazy Unga and a number of village halls. But the company intends to include a few more hotspots for people to have better access island-wide. There is also a privately owned business that operates Carnu, who also provide Wi-Fi services. They hold a large stake in the customer base for Wi-Fi services, but with Telecom's new packages and prices, this will give customers more choice or options. Telecom New is looking forward to more developments with their services and network over the next few months, that will hopefully improve telecommunications on the island. Those are the news stories that we have for you this evening. We do hope you can join us again for our next news bulletin on Thursday.